Hello everyone, good morning. We're bright and early. Um, so I'm just very quickly while I'm giving people a little bit of a chance to jump in, I'm going to paint up a couple of colour pops. Um, now today we are focusing on foil and foil works really well in most gel polishes. It does look really nice in the Flirties gel polish, but it's not quite as sticky as Sandy Shellac. So today we are gonna be working with Shellac, just to make my life easier. Oh, and there's my lamp that sounds like it's dying again. Just give my Shellac a little bit of a shake. Um, so there are loads of different places that you can get foils. Um, we tend to buy the majority of ours from Sweet Squared um, because I love the list, the quality of the Lucente products is fantastic. Um, and it, whoop. Right, let me just unpaint my hand because that's not where the schlock is supposed to go. There, we go. there. sorry. Um, so let me know if you're there, jump in, say hi. I'm just painting these guys up to make sure you guys can see. Um, so yeah, sorry, I was just saying that we buy most of our foils from Sweet Squared um, because we use Lucente foils in general. Now I do have a bunch from a couple of other places as well. Um, and I'm going to show them to you now in a second and show you which ones are my favourites and why they are my favourites. Um, do any of you guys have any foils that you've gotten elsewhere? If you do, it would be awesome if you could share links in the box below so um, anybody else looking can have a nosy there as well. All right, let's get the tree of them in there and get him on. I love yellow nails. I think they're so pretty. Where's my thing? Here we go. Sorry, my clamp is in the middle of my phone screen, so I can't actually see the middle of the screen. All right, two with this blue. Let's see if we can be friends this time. I'm not paint myself. I was hoping to have a couple of these painted, but I got halfway here this morning and realized I left my keys at home. So I have to turn around and go back. So we're going to run through 10 different designs that you can do with foil this morning. Um, so it gives you loads of different options. Now, don't feel the need to go out and buy 500 different foils. Um, I mean, like we have probably about 300 glitters on our shelf. I'll bring you for a walk over a glitter shelf at some point. Um, um, yeah, we have a, about 300 glitters and I'd say we have about 15 foils. So that kind of shows you the comparison of how few foils you need to do some pretty amazing stuff with. Okay, right, let me chuck them in. We'll get them cured and then we'll get started with the fun stuff. Right. Okay, so we have a whole heap of different foils. Um, these guys here are Lacente ones, so they generally come on like a, a roll. Um, so I'm gonna wind him back up again. When you're putting them, if they come in a roll and a little box, the easiest way to deal with them is pop them in the lid when you're putting them back in the box, and then put them back in the box. Uh, and the reason for that is if you put them in there first and then you try to close the lid, see the way that's kind of squishing the foil. You end up bending your foil. So keep them rolled up nice and tight. Um, what I did actually used to do as well for a while was I used to chop pieces up and I'd have a load of like spare pieces in here so that they were ready to go. Um, you can do that as well, we don't do that anymore. See the way this one got put in and then the lid got closed on top of it so that's why it's all crinkly at the top. Um, I just need to cut the scissors and these guys are ready. So if I take out this little yellow guy first of all. We'll go with a little bit of gold foil on him because that will look quite nice. So you can, if you want to, just do one 
layer of foil or one color foil on top of your nail and it does always look really really nice um, so we'll start off with what it looks like with just one um, and actually let me just jump back in there for a second we also have these guys which are fatter rolls these were the ones that were the foil lips from years and years and years ago they work really really well um, and then this little small wheel of foil here I actually got in a CND kit years ago um, when the forbidden Oh, what was that kit called? Something forbidden. Um, it came in like a case with a bunch of additives. Uh, it was their forbidden something or other collection. I can't even remember what it's called, Jesus. Okay. So, what I've seen a lot of people do with foil is they leave it on the wheel and they just keep tapping it off people's nails. That's not massively hygienic if you're touching off one client and then touching the same piece of foil off the next client and the next client. So... What we're going to do when we're using foil is we're going to cut a little piece of the foil off and then we'll wrap this guy back up, put him in his lid and then put him back in his box. Now, so when you're working with foil, you want to be working with the silver side down. So if you imagine, you want to be able to see the gold side you don't want to be looking at silver so if I was to press that down on the nail there first of all it's not going to work um, because this side does, isn't, doesn't come off but if it did come off I would then be looking at silver rather than looking at gold does that make sense so I'm gonna fold him in half so that I'm holding him silver side down and I'm gonna come along to my nail and I'm literally I'm just gonna Tap the nail with the foil. Now I'm turning the foil a little bit as I go because when I open this back up, do you see the way the foil actually comes off the pad where we've used it? So you need to keep kind of moving your foil around so that you're constantly tapping the nail with a fresh piece where there is actually some foil to come off. See the way that's coming off there for me? And you can do as much or as little as you want. Now, so that's just with one colour foil. And that is so pretty. Okay. And then you are literally just going to top coat him and stick him in the lamp and cure him. And he's done. But before we do that, let me chuck that piece of foil over there. So with this blue one, I'm going to do two different coloured foils. And we are going to go for one foil. We won't do the blue, actually. We'll use some silver, because silver will complement the blue. And we'll do a bit of pink as well, because pink always looks quite good with blue. Now, if you're using a gel polish that isn't very sticky, what you can do beforehand to make your foil stick a little bit easier is take a lint-free wipe. Okay, wipe it, dip it into your cleanser or soak some cleanser up into it. And you can see at the minute, this is one of the um, the lip ones. So the back of this is actually gold, it's not silver. But what I'm going to do with my lint-free wipe is I'm going to wipe over the back of that. Do you see the way it's now silver? Okay, so the gold transfer at the back has literally come off. That makes it come off slightly easier onto your nail. So let me check that over there right the way. Now, because silver was going to complement the blue really nicely, I'm going to start off with the silver foil, which came out of the way. And I'm going to do the same thing as before. Ooh, my nail's wiggling. And I'm pressing down, and I'm going to move my foil. Okay. Now, I've left... A little bit of space along there so that I can get another colour foil in. Let me chuck him out of the way, he's making my screen go fuzzy. Okay. Now I'm going to take my pink. So, where we've applied the foil is no longer sticky. Okay, so this is going into the cured layer of your gel polish or your shellac or whatever it is that you're using. But where we've applied that silver foil is no longer sticky because foil isn't sticky. So when I go in with my second colour, it's not going to cover up my silver because the silver isn't sticky anymore and foil has to stick to something sticky. So I'm just going to support that nail again there. And I'm going to come in then with my pink. 
Hm? How awesome is that color combination? So you've got your pink. I've got keys written on my hand, which clearly did not help this morning considering I left without my keys. Your pink and your blue combination. So this was one foil and this one was two foils. Do you see the difference? I very, unless my client is really, really nervous and afraid of trying out foils, I would very rarely ever only do two. Uh, or I only ever do one foil on somebody's nail. What I do do a lot of the time is I will use three different foils because it looks freaking amazing. So I'm actually gonna grab a little bit of gold again for my orange one. I like to do foils that really pop up off the nail and really stand out. So I like to do two that are kind of complementary up to the nail. Actually, I'm not gonna use that one. I have a, a holographic one down here that will look amazing. See this guy here? This is also from Lucente. So I'm going to chop off. You don't generally see the stars because of the way I apply it. Um, but it gives you a really reflective look. So I'm going to pop him back in there. So we'll go with a little bit of gold. We'll do some, let me see. We'll do a little bit of black because that will look cool with it. Sorry. This is also a black holographic one from the Sente. I only want little pieces of this one. Um, there is bucket loads on these. A lot of these foils I've had for years. You just gotta be careful with how much you're using. And then we'll go for this amazing green because it is gonna stand out like crazy against my orange. Ooh, yeah. I should put my phone on silent so you guys can't hear those notifications, sorry. Okay, so took all them out of the way. I'm gonna start off with my crazy gold one. I fold them in half and I'm sticking them on my nail. This orange is super sticky, so it's gonna look class. Okay, so that's enough of him. Do you see the way you can't see it up there's stars, but it's super reflective-y? Well, let's chuck him over there. I'm going to take my black and I'm going to do the same thing. With my black. So I've got a holographic black on there and a holographic gold. And at the minute that looks awesome. Do, 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 do. So green going on next. Now this green is really going to pop up off the nail. I don't want a bucket ton of it on. I just want a little bit that's really going to pop up. And look freaking amazing. Now, how class is that? Do you see how reflective it is too? Okay, so this was one foil on its own. This was two foils. And this was tree foils. Which one do you guys prefer? The one foil, the two foil look, or the tree foil look? This one for me, tree foils, is a clear winner. But like that, some people like one, some people like two. So let me know which ones you guys prefer. So I'm going to chuck them out of the way for now. Okay. So you can also do full coverage foils. So we're going to do two different types of full coverage. <laughs> I'm going to take faux fur and leopard print and then what I'm going to do is we'll do art basil with our crazy green as well. So let me give these a little shake. Not the foil, obviously they're shellac. Um, foil doesn't need to be cured but it does need top coat applied over it so you just need to top coat them after you've applied it and stick them in the lamp and cure them. Jesus, there we go. Okay, now, so for our leopard print one, I'm going to use faux fur, um, which is a brown as our base. And the reason I'm doing that is because in this guy here, you have a couple of little brown pieces. 
full coverage foil doesn't always turn out absolutely pristine. So the reason I'm using a brown is so that it complements it. So if there's little gaps anywhere, the brown will fill it in. You won't notice them as much and it will still look looking amazing. So can you guys see that? Right, let me chuck him in there. And I'm gonna take Art Basel. Now this is still a green, but it's a little bit away from the color uh, that we're going to be using, which is this guy here. But I'll show you why I'm doing that in a second. Right, let me cure them. And while that's curing, I'm going to chop off pieces that are big enough now to cover up the whole nail. So that's the size of the nail we're working with, so I need to chop up that size piece of foil. The other pieces I were using were quite a bit skinnier than that, so say for instance the black guy here that we had a minute ago, I used a lot less of him than I am of this guy. But that's because we weren't doing full coverage with him. And I'm going to need the same size piece in the green. Does anybody have foils that they use at the moment? I love foil. If like, if I was stuck and I was told, right, you can have one type of nail art for the rest of your life, what would it be? Foil would be exactly what I would pick. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. Hi, Katie. Yeah, okay, so. I am gonna paint on my brown. Full coverage foil is a little bit difficult to get absolutely perfect, um, which is why I don't generally aim for it to be perfect. Um, especially if you're doing it on a couple of nails, because you might get it perfect on one nail, but the chances of you getting it absolutely spotlessly perfect on every single nail that you do it on on the one client, pretty slim. Um, so I'll show you, we're gonna do kind of like a cracked foil look now in a second, which looks pretty awesome. Stick him on to cure while I'm painting this guy. I love Art Basel, it's such a pretty colour. Okay. Right, that's the two of them finished with. Watching the lamp. The one we're going to do after this is really cool. I'm actually going to reuse one of the tips that we used earlier on for the next one, just to speed it up a little bit. How long have we got left? 13 seconds. I hate waiting for lamps. I'm sure you guys all feel my pain with hating for lamps. Wait, hating waiting for lamps. So we have our brown, I'm going to chuck that back on to finish curing the green one. So we have our faux fur and we have our leopard print. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plonk my leopard print right in the middle of my faux fur now. Okay, and you can see he is stuck there. So you can either rub this in your finger, you can get a lint-free wipe, rub it in with a lint-free wipe. You could get a little um, makeup sponge, rub it in with a makeup sponge, whatever you feel comfortable doing. And I'm going to rub that in all the way around while trying to keep my tip attached to the little stick, which is going fabulously right now. And when you take it off, if it hasn't stuck perfectly for you, don't panic. So I'm going to peel him away. Now, I slid that on my finger a second ago, so he didn't stick very well for me because he's wiggling around on this thing. So I'm gonna repress him down into any areas that didn't stick. See the way he's transferring for me still? So 
So while that nail is still sticky, he will continue to transfer for you. Believe it or not, this is this bit here when you're doing full coverage is actually easier to do on a real person because the foil isn't wiggling all over the place on you. Or the, the nail isn't wiggling all over the place, or at least you'd want to hope that their nail isn't wiggling all over the place on you. Do you see the way that literally comes right off the foil? And you're left with this awesome leopard print design left behind. I do quite like leopard print. Leopard print is pretty awesome. Okay, so our green guy then. Pick up my bit of green foil and I'm going to plonk him down and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to give him a little rub around the nail. He's not transferring for me on our puzzle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just giving it a whole lot of force right now to force it down onto the nail. When you're doing this cracked style, it doesn't really matter what way you get it on because you want it to look gappy and you want it to look like um, kind of like a cracked window. So you don't want it to look perfect. And I'm going to show you how in a couple of seconds to make it look really cool. And I'm going to pull off another bit of green foil. So what I did that time, that I shouldn't have done, was I cured the nail twice. Because I was impatient. And if you over cure the nail, it doesn't stick properly. But you can see it's gone on anyway. green is amazing. It's so pretty. Can you guys still see that? I'm going to top coat all of these now in a few minutes so you can see them with top coat. I love this foil. How awesome does that look? Does not look super 3D? Now to give it a real kind of cracked effect, what you can do is take um, an orange wood stick or a dotting tool or anything like that and you can literally go, I generally do like jagged angles when I'm doing this. I hope you guys can see this. But you are going to draw into the foil. Can you see that? See the way I've got like my cracked line there and my cracked line there? So we are doing like cracked glass across the nail. I'm trying to make these lines bigger. In person, this is fine, but just so that you guys can see the lines a little bit better. But it literally looks like a cracked green glass bottle right now. And cracked lines aren't straight, so you don't need to draw in a straight line to do this. Isn't that really cool? Wait till you see him on top coat now in a few minutes. He's awesome. Okay. So, the next one we are going to do is a stained glass window. 
and I'm actually going to use this guy from earlier. So you would apply your two coats of colour, your three coats of colour, whatever it is that you need to do. Apply your three layers of foil or your two different types of foil or your one, whatever again you want to you want to go for with this one. And then you want to top coat them. Now when you're top coating in foil, you want to make sure you seal all the way around. Okay. So nice and shiny. And I'm going to pop him in the lamp. I just flipped him over. Stick him in there. And I am going to cure him. And while he is curing, I'm actually going to top coat these guys too. Um, one layer of top coat should be absolutely fine for foil. I know there are some techniques that applying two layers of top coat can protect it a little bit more. Um, but for foil, one layer should be completely sufficient. Hi Gemma! So I'm just top coating these guys. I love blue and pink together. I'm sure you guys have probably realised that considering my nails and half of the videos in the other group that I have were blue and pink for five weeks. Check him in there. Oh, he doesn't want to go in there. There we go. Alright, okay. Right, so we are cured, we're top coated. That was a non-wipe flirty stop coat that I just used. And um, so we are literally good to go. So what I'm gonna do now. So generally a stained glass window will have a black outline. Now you don't have to do a black outline, you can do whatever color outline you wanna do. Um, but black is generally the color that would be around a stained glass window. So I am just dispensing some black. From my bottle that has product all around the neck that shouldn't. So just down to the back, the well, it's tech, it, what I what it actually is is the lid of one of my foils, because that's generally what I normally always use for my palettes. <laughs> okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop some of that up, and I'm going to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to paint all the way around the outside of my nail. Now your line around the outside can be thick, it can be thin, it can be halfway down the nail. You can literally do this whatever way you want to do it. I want to start off with a line all the way around the outside. Now I'm going to go in a little bit further. And thicken up that line all the way around the sides now that I have it in place. Okay, now while I'm dispensing out some more product, I am going to chuck him in the lamp to cure him. 
Um, just for a couple of seconds, I just want to flash cure them for 10 seconds so that the gel polish can't actually move on me or shrink. The next bit is where it gets really cool. Okay. Oop, that's all out. Now, who's ever seen a stained glass window that only has an outline around the side, eh? So what we're going to do is pick up some more gel polish. Right now, I'm literally just drawing random lines through my gel polish. To give that stained glass window effect. Now, I do want to thicken up my black a little bit because I can still see a little bit of orange around the sides. So I'm going to chuck him in the lamp for the full 30 seconds for the gel polish and let him cure and then I'm going to go over him again. So I'm just going to clean my brush really quickly just to stop it from getting clogged up. Uh, but that is how you do a stained glass nail, which looks amazing. Um, now like that you can do that in any colour, you can do your outside any colour, you can literally do anything that you want. Hi Kavina! As much as I love gel polish and shellac and stuff, I hate getting it on my fingers. I hate my fingers being sticky. Okay, that has been in there for 30 seconds, so he's coming back out again. Right, now I'm going to thicken him up. So I'm going to run around the outsides again to make sure that it is fully black everywhere. And then you can't see through him. You'll see that it's kind of grey in a few places and you can see little bits of orange through them. You can't really see the foil through it but you can see the original colour through it. So I'm just filling that in. And then I'm just really quickly going to run over my lines that I already made to darken them down as well. Why is that a focus? There we go. And there is our stained glass window. So I'm going to stick him in, cure him again, and then top coat him. So let me chuck him in there. 
and take care. Thanks. Okay, so we have four left to do. The next two are two different French designs that you can do with foil. So I'm going to chuck them all out of the way. Finish with him. Let's take out two different pinks for this one. Um, now, like that, um, if you guys watched the French video that I put up at the start, you'll see I'm not a massive fan of French in like the traditional sense or French at all, to be quite honest with you, I'm not a big fan of French. Um, but foil can make French look a little bit more interesting. So I'm just painting up two colour pops here. This is Shellac Ecstasy and the other one I'm going to be using is Shellac Rosebud. So let me check. Okay, those ones are quite good, so I'll leave them over there. He is not, so I'll put him there. And let's not be impatient this time. Rosebud is a really pretty colour. Right, let me chuck him in there. And I will cure them. Sorry. is curing I am going to top coat the other two that we did so our cracked glass and our stained glass sorry I'm not even doing that on the screen so our cracked glass stained glass, which is awesome. Second layer of ecstasy on. Oh, I've not used this colour in ages, I forgot how pretty it is. And our second layer of. Looks bad. And I'm wrapping the place over here. I'm glad you guys can't see my mess in the corner. Right, so let's chuck him in the lamp and him in the lamp. Okay, and I'm going to need a couple of different colours. So for one of the designs that we're going to do, I'm just going to need one. him open. And then for the other design, I'm going to need three smaller pieces. I like foils and trees. So we're going to go pink. That will look really nice with rosewood. This blue will also really pop off rosewood. And let's see. 
We'll do silver as well because that would look quite pretty, wouldn't it? Hi, Nicola. No, so I have my tree foils for one and my other foil for the first one. Okay, so let's start off with your simpler French design, which I do on Ecstasy. Um, this so, is never going to be your perfect round French, but we can get as close to it as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along and I'm doing like a, a kind of diagonal of foil across the tip of the nail. I'm just going to have to hold that in place. I like to go quite high up the sides when I'm doing this one as well, just because it is an exaggerated French because you were doing it in foil and it's going to look freaking amazing. So we might as well go all out and go all the way up the sides. And then I'm going to come you still see? across the tip. So I'm coming around the tip of the nail. I'm going to flip this around just to make it easier for me. And then I'm coming nice and high up the side wall on the other side and pressing all the way down. And remember, it is foil, so you can add as much or as little as you want. without affecting all the rest of the foil touches. Okay, we went higher on the other side, so I need to go up higher on this side. We have a funky little French. These videos are all going to be fairly long because we're going to be doing a lot of designs in them. So I don't expect everybody to be able to sit and watch all of them, don't worry. If you can, amazing. But if you can't, that's totally fine. And I'm just going to go over this area a little bit just to thicken him up. No. So we have a super cute little French design. And I like that if you're like, oh, this side's a little bit thinner than this side, what you can always do is take your little orange wood stick and run him along the sides. Tidy him up a little bit. This is why I love foil, you can do so much with it. Okay. So there is our super cute little first French design. And then we're just gonna top coat him. So we'll leave him up there for now. Now, so with this guy, we are doing more of your standard kind of distance for French. So I'm gonna start off with my pink one. Um, now again, this is not going to be a perfect smile line kind of fringe. That's not what the aim of this is. It is just to make it look really cool. So I'm going to flip it around this way, actually, so I can stick my finger on them. Okay. Um, you obviously don't need to stick your finger on a person's nail, but this, these keep wobbling when I'm pressing, so I'm just going to hold them in place. And I am just doing a few little patchy bits. Kind of like a little foil ombre at the tip there. Okay, so I have him folded in half and I'm just doing a few little paths. So I'm going to chuck him over there now. 
And I'm going to take my silver and I'm going to do exactly the same thing with my silver. So I'm coming in in little patchy bits. Okay, so that's my pink on and my silver on. And I'm going to fold my blue in half. And I'm going to pop on some blue in the exact same way. So that one might be a little bit easier for you, actually, as your first French foil design. Doesn't that look cool? It's like an ombre or foil. Okay, right, so, and then again, top coat him and hear him. So we have two more to do. Um, one of them we are going to incorporate glitter into, and the other one then is something really funky that I'll show you when we get to it. Okay, so let me take purple and we'll take green as well. So I have Tango Passion and Pretty Poison. So I'm going to paint one of these up with Tango Passion. And the reason I can't have all of these painted before we start is um, because they wouldn't say sticky. And we need them to be sticky for these designs to work. So I'm going to chuck him in there. Take these two right there done now. And let's get this guy painted up with Pretty Poison. Which is a really pretty colour, but kind of gets forgotten about on the rack of shellac that we still have. Okay. Right, let's chuck the two of them in there and cure them. So these two have just come back out of the lamp. Hi, Amanda! So we have our stained glass window and then we have a broken glass effect as well in this green one. I'm going to take a picture of this green one afterwards because I think a picture might show it up a little bit better than the video is doing. But I'll have a look at the video afterwards. It might actually look better than for you guys than it does for me right now on that screen. Okay, so I'm going to pop all of these off. Oh, actually, let's top. Ooh, Jesus. I'm going to cut these last two that we did while we're waiting for those ones. So our two French ones. So pretty. Okay, he's ready, so check him out of there. Let's get layer two painted on. I'm going to try week to week whenever we are doing different designs to incorporate and um, to kind of mix the designs together so that you can like this week we're going to do a foil and a glitter look um, next week we'll when we're working on our designs we'll do foil glitter and whatever it is that we're doing next week um, so that you can incorporate all the different things that you're learning into the same uh, set of nails we're going to have our styling workshop coming up soon as well and our color workshop a colour workshop is going to be before our styling one, just so you guys can um, just go over a few little colours that work together, what works well, kind of to, to pop and stand out. Um, so I'm going to close the two of them. Now for that purple one, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to use a bit of blue foil. Just so that this is really obvious what I'm doing. Oh, look how 
a shiny hook on the top corner. So that was our other French design. So, do you remember last week we used Sizzling Sand, which was the CND one that is a white glitter, um, but goes whatever colour the nail is underneath. I love that, it's so nice. Now, this doesn't have to be with a white glitter, it doesn't have to be with any particular type of glitter, I just like this one, so that's why I'm doing it with Sizzling Sand. So, I'm going to take my blue foil, first of all, and I am just going to pat randomly on that nail. Now, do you remember earlier on we were talking about the fact that where we've applied that foil, it's no longer sticky, but the rest of the nail is still sticky because foil isn't sticky. Foil needs sticky to stick to, but the foil itself isn't sticky, okay? So when I apply this glitter, the only places the glitter is gonna stick is to the purple. So I have got my little, glitter, little, little, little glitter brush and I am going to apply my glitter over the whole nail. Now I wanted to do it with this white one because I know it will really stand out so that you can see exactly what I mean and also with the blue so that you can see again exactly what I mean. So I'm giving that a good wipe over. It's not going to wipe away my foil and it's not going to wipe away my glitter. It's only going to wipe away little loose bits. So this is how we combine foil and glitter techniques. So do you see the way my foil is still awesome there? The glitter has only stuck to where the purple was still on show. Does that make sense? So wait now till you see what it looks like when I top coat them. So I'm going to apply my top coat all the way over this nail. How amazing does that look? Does that not look like a galaxy? I'm a galaxy far, far away. Isn't it so pretty? So the glitter only stuck to where you could still see the purple. It didn't stick to the foil at all. So let me chuck him in there. So again, you can use any color foil, any or any color glitter, any type of glitter. It doesn't have to be one that disappears and goes the same color as the nail underneath. I could have used a purple glitter over that. I could have used a red glitter over it. You can literally use any glitter at all that you want over that and it will look amazing. Um, let me take this guy back. That's not the one I wanted. That's also not the one I wanted. This one. Okay, so I am going to top coat this nail with a non wipe top coat. If you are using a top coat that is sticky, you want to apply two layers of top coat and then take a really fine buffer that's about a 1200 grit buffer and buff over the top of the nail to make sure there is no stickiness left at the very end before we do the next bit. And so, again, if you're using a sticky top coat, you want to wipe the top coat off at the end, wipe your sticky layer away, um, and then buff over the nail with a 1,200 grit buffer to make sure there is no stickiness left on the nail. And I'm going to take my pretty poison back out here again and dispense a little blob of him onto a palette. Definitely not got my top coated one cured. It has my other ones so sticking back on there. Um, when you're doing this technique, I'm using an um, pretty poison here just because that's what colour is underneath. Um, but whatever is your stickiest gel polish colour, you want to use that for your for this next technique. And I'm going to use what I use do, 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 and the silver because it will stand out. Okay, I'm going to give him another couple of seconds to make sure he's totally cured, so he's not sticky anymore. He is sticky, so that's not cured. Check him back in there. I'm just popping these ones that we've done off the stick so that I can show them when I'm all up at the end and show them all to you again. Okay. 
So he is totally finished and he is not sticky anymore. Okay. Now I am going to take my detailer brush and my little bit of sticky shellac. And I am going to come in and I am going to paint just a random little design. doesn't have to be anything crazy. You can do leopard print, you could do a rose, you could do swirls. Okay, so I have literally just painted five little squealy lines on that nail. You can kind of see them in the reflection there in the top corner. And I'm going to chuck him in the lamp and cure him. So full cure. Here he goes. Yeah, let's just revisit this guy while we are waiting because I love him and he looks amazing. Okay, sparkly he is. Okay. So this one that we're doing at the moment is the last um, design for today. So this week's challenge is to, on your colour wheel, I would like everybody to share a picture of their colour wheel by the end of the week with at least 10 different designs on it that you are happy and comfortable to show your clients um, to get them booking in for nail art. Um, so 15 designs on our color wheel that you have decided how much they're gonna cost and that you are actively showing clients when they're in to try to convince them to get some nail art. And I want you guys to share them with us so that we can see how you're getting on. There we go, okay. So I have my little bit of silver foil, I have my cured nail and with my top coat of colour underneath and I'm going to take my foil and I'm going to press it on. And because my nail underneath is cured, the foil is only sticking to the pattern that I painted on top of the top coat. See that? Isn't that really cool? Now, I could have done a couple of different colours there. I could have been really careful with my silver foil and applied my silver foil to the two outside ones. And then, because that wouldn't be sticky anymore, I could then take a pink foil and apply my pink foil over that and it would only stick to these two once I didn't touch off the middle one. And then I could get a blue foil and stick it to the middle one. And then I would have three different coloured foils on that nail and that would look amazing. So that is super simple. It is super easy to do, but it looks awesome. You just gotta make sure that once you have done that, you then take your top coat and you top coat them again to seal in your foil and your design. And now that design is slightly 3D, so your client will be able to feel it, which is totally fine once they don't try to pick it off. Um, but it will be difficult for them to pick it off, so they should just leave it alone, hopefully. You can always get one client who tries to pick off everything, but they're the clients that generally try to pick off their whole nail, so. Okay, so um, let's just do a quick catch up. I am covered in gel polish. I literally look like I'm filthy. So that is our one foil color. Then this was the one we did for two foils. Then we did oh, three foils, but then I covered it up with stained glass. Then we did our full coverage and our cracked glass. We did two different French designs. We did our stained glass, which was this one, and our foil and glitter combination. And then we did our foil over top coat technique. So if you guys have foil ready to go, give them a go, see how you get on. Um, if you don't, don't panic. You could literally like, you could have two or three different foils and you could do so much with them. You don't need to buy 15 different colors of foils. If you're starting out and you want to get a couple, I would recommend getting um, a silver, 
a gold and like a blue or a pink or something like that and you will get so much out of all of them um, and then wait and see if you're using them foil looks absolutely amazing it is super easy to do it's super quick to do a lot of the techniques don't add extra time like the likes of these guys here and the the tree colored look your full coverage that doesn't really add any extra time to your treatment but it looks amazing the same as this guy here he's not going to add a whole lot of extra time to your treatment but he looks super effective super amazing and your clients will absolutely love him so thank you for joining um and for tuning in and watching and i hope you guys love the video and i can't wait to see what you do don't forget to share what you do in the group can't wait to see them See you next week. Bye.